Hello there. Welcome back to Encamp Designs. Today we're going to learn how to edit a video using OpenShot and specifically we're going to learn how to add background music to a video file on and on OpenShot. Yes, so OpenShot is here. It's open in my computer. We're just going to I had started already editing this file then i decided to do a quick tutorial on how to add audio files or background music to a video that you're editing in openshot so let's begin let's add an let's add first the intro and outro of my video and then we will go to editing so this is the intro, we add it to the project files. It's already there actually. It's already there. It's already there. So just drag and drop it there. Let's increase that so that you can see better. There it is. Bring that back there. Okay, we need to see exactly what we're doing. Okay, okay, okay. Something there which we need to delete. It was an overlap, I suppose. There we go. Now let's zoom in. And there we go. Mm -hmm. put them on the same track and then let us see do the same thing with the other file there we go then we add the outro there we go now the point of this tutorial is to show you how to add an audio file into the project that you're working on so go to where the project is located where the audio file is located in my case it's in the downloads and locate it and add it to the project files this is the audio that we would like to use there it is in the project then this is our project and i'd like it to be the background music for this this is a tutorial that i'll be sharing this is a video that I'm editing on how to design a logo using Affinity Designer. So I'm doing, I'm killing two birds with one stone because I'm going to create a video for designing a logo. And at the same time, I'm also recording using Active Presenter a video on how to add audio files into your project i hope you get the drift if you don't maybe you might later on but here we go so just drag and drop to the track below i told you if you put this in the track in front if you put it in front if you put it on top of your files you might see something there let's just show you okay undo undo where is it drag and drop again so don't put it on top, put it below. Because if you put it on top like that, and then you play the video there, you might see it obstructing. Not sure though, but just let's see. Okay, it, it actually is not going to show. okay anyway it's it's not going to show but it's always better to have it under so let's just put it under okay it's taking a while to load i think the file is heavy wave it again drag and drop below so let's have it there zoom in to check what exactly we're doing So there it is, we don't want it to 
be oh it's already even here need to remove it yes so we want it to start there not at the outro we don't need to obstruct to play behind the audio so we'll need to drag and drop again because we want it to run through the whole video so we just do the same thing drag and drop as many versions as we need and they can overlap slightly okay let's not overlap at the moment drag and drop and just do the same thing over and over because it's a long video and we want this track to be the one at the background so that's basically how to do that how to add an audio file and then let me just show you something to do in case you want the volume in case this this file here had audio and we want this to be the background you just need to change the volume of this to be lower so you change through here then you go to entire clip and then you can put a volume that you want and there is where you do that yes and so let's finish up let's finish up adding all the audios it's a it's a long project because it was a whole logo i designed within one hour 20 minutes around one hour 10 minutes or one hour 15 minutes yes and we're almost done uh -huh. almost 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 okay they have overlapped it should be the last one now let us see quite a process if i had a one hour long background music it would have been easier but i don't so now we just pull this in to shorten it it's like we've cut out that last part by dragging that side yes then it's there just correct this correct my outro as i always do transform to edit it resize there we go play the video yes and that is basically how to add an audio file into your project that you're working on the best practice is best practice is to have the audio beneath the track that is playing and once you've done that you can export your video and wait for it to export this one will take a long time because it's a long video always remember to change the profile to match the profile of your project files and in my case as i told you it's 1080p 25 frames per second and that's what we do then save the project to make sure you don't lose anything and in this case i am going to save it in this folder create a new folder oh no it's actually this project so designing a logo yes then save then export the video and you'll see a screen coming up and these settings are correct as i said then export the video should start quite a heavy heavy project it is but it has started and there we go and that's basically how to edit 
a video using OpenShot and specifically how to add an audio file into your project or how to add background music into your project. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something new. In case of any questions and comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section or ask me directly in case of any tutorial that you'd like me to do or anything that you'd like me to show you how to do. Be sure to reach out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.